Why was Christ sent to this earth? The prophecies concerning the Israelites clearly shows who Christ came for. Luke 1 68 Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he had visited and redeemed his people. So how did the Most High redeemed his people, the Israelites? He did it through his son, Jesus the Christ. This is the promised child that was prophesied to come from the prophets of old. The Israelites were waiting, according to prophecy, for Christ to come to save them out of the hands of their oppressors, just like Moses saved them out of the hands of the Egyptians. Luke 1 69 And had raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Christ came from the bloodline of King David. He was sent from God to be a horn of salvation for the nation of Israel. Horn of salvation would mean a mighty deliverer. Horn is an Old Testament symbol for power. So Christ was sent according to prophecy to save his people from their sins. The nation of Israel needed salvation. The Israelites were sitting in gross darkness, subjected to sin and unrighteousness. It came to a point whereby the Most High had to turn his back on Israel because of their transgressions against his law. For sin is the transgression of the law. The sins of the nation as a whole had caused a separation between the Most High and his chosen people. Hence the reason why Christ had to come into the world to save them. Matthew 1 21 And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. Luke 1 17 As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which had been since the world began. This was the child the forefathers of Israel were waiting for during the time of the Roman Empire to come and save the Israelites from out of the hands of their enemies. The original mission of Christ was to come to save Israel, not Gentiles. In the book of Matthew 15, 24, Christ told a woman of Canaan, a Gentile, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Luke 1, 71 that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Verse 72 To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. The mercy promised to our fathers. Christ came to save a people who were wandering in servitude in the earth, who needed saving. The Israelites, his people, the nation of Israel. Matthew 10, 5. These twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. As we see here, the original mission of the twelve disciples were not to go into the places where the Gentiles were. Christ commanded them, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not. Why did Christ say, Do not go to the Samaritans? Because the ten tribes of Israel were taken out of the land almost 700 years before Christ was born, and there were heathens placed in the land instead of the children of Israel. So when Christ was born into the earth, he came to save Israel. He commanded the disciples not to go to those Gentiles in Samaria. He said, don't go to them. Why? Because that was in Christ's original mission while upon this earth. His mission was to save his people from their sins. Christ came as a horn of salvation from the house of David to save Israel from their sins. Christ came to set his people free. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The question is, who is the world? 
that same God said in the book of first John two fifteen, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him. So this world is wicked. Christ did not die for this world. He didn't die for the wicked, unrepented sinner who know what they are doing is wrong and choose to continue to do evil. 1 John 5 1 Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and every one that loveth him that begot loveth him also that is begotten of him. If you believe Christ is the Savior, you are born of God. 1 John 5 2 By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. This is how we know we love the children of God. Who are the children of God? The Israelites. We love God by keeping his commandments. So the love of God is to keep his commandments. Obedience is what it truly means to love God. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That world was Israel. That world was the children of Israel. John 3.16 says that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And whosoever out of Israel accept Christ shall be saved. That's what it is saying in John 3.16. How do I know this? Isaiah 45.17 But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. In Bible context, Israel is a world within itself which means a society. Israel had a society of laws separated, different from the Gentile world. So when it said, God so loved the world, in John 3.16, it was speaking of the same people who came out of Egypt, the Israelites. How do I know this? Just take a look at the 13 through 14 verse in John chapter 3. He is comparing Christ's coming to save Israel like Moses saved Israel out of Egypt. You can read the 13th verse all the way down to the 16th verse to get the proper context. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. It was in talking about him loving this world. This world is wicked. God hates this world. Job 9 24 The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. That wicked one is Satan. 1 John 2.15 Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So if you love this world, the love of the Most High is not in you. Christ did not come to die for this world. That world he was talking about in John 3.16 were his people who he was prophesied to one day awaken to the truth of him and of themselves that they are the children of God. And through Christ we are saved. Christ's true Hebrew name is Yeshua. Yeshua means Savior. He is the Anointed One, the Christ who was prophesied to come as Savior for the house of Israel. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. That world is Israel. John 4.22 For salvation is of the Jews. In the book of Matthew 28, 18-20, Christ commanded his disciples to go and spread the good news, the gospel of Christ that leads to true repentance and the omission of sins. They were to go throughout the Gentile nations. He commanded them to go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Through Israel's salvation, all Gentile nations would be saved. Romans 10, 9 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart 
that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Confession is made unto salvation. One is not saved by his mouth's confession, but rather the mouth testifies readily of the grace of God in Christ, which have been received by faith. The confession of sins, the repentance of sins, and turning away from sins is absolutely necessary for salvation. Christ's body was that perfect sacrifice, that perfect lamb without blemish for the remission of sins. For without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. Christ's resurrection was the supreme validation of his ministry. Belief in it is necessary for salvation because it proved that Christ is who he claimed to be and that the Father had accepted his sacrifice in the place of sinners. Hallelujah! Praise the Most High! Until next time, always remember that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Find your strength through Christ. Please subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and share the videos. Be blessed always.